How's it going everyone? Welcome to the final weekly roundup of season one of the Elite Battle League. We witnessed a pretty interesting championship matchup uh, that left one team standing and all the rest out. Uh, but what a fantastic season nonetheless. It was amazing. And of course, uh, check out all six of the coaches down below. All six are down below. They uh, actually, I don't know if I can say that yet, but most of them will be joining back for next season. Uh, so definitely be sure to check them all out regardless um the new coaches will be announced in due time the announcement video will be coming soon um but i'm sure you probably heard from multiple sources who are the new coaches but regardless uh, i am your host lonely hermit and of course i am joined by finally after two weeks <laughs> inferno man landon how you doing today my dude doing very good uh guy theory and i are very excited to be here <gasps> Woo! we're joined by a third co-host as well <laughs> apparently he's just gonna um, say it's gangster <laughs> uh but to get right into it uh obviously the big one the final match of the season we had the miami dragonites versus the atlanta braviary uh i picked uh the Al atlanta braviary just because i wanted a cinderella star i wanted the lower seat to win that's literally the only reason uh and obviously it didn't turn out like that i was very scared for a while uh i won't lie K kudos to one uncle man because he he read he read stone like a book he really did i mean every time he just made a prediction it just came it was just correct every single time uh he was really he was reading the match incredibly well uh he neutralized trick room incredibly well with especially with shuckle shuckle was really annoying very bulky and it had toxic and protect and other moves like it was just so annoying uh but he did really well to just counter everything stone was doing um and for a second there i was very 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 scared because it felt like it might be a 6-0 sweep like it really felt like nothing was going the braviary's way and i was terrified because i did not want the first matches like the first sweep of the season to be in the finals i would have been really sad um but did, did you feel that same way i kind of yeah. i don't know i think it was yeah it was like halfway through the matches when i got i started to get really worried uh when did when did you kind of realize or kind of think start to think that when he had knocked out like three of of Matt's mons, I was just like, "Bro, what is, is he just gonna take out the entire team?" Yeah, and thankfully, thankfully, Stone eventually picked up. I think a couple kills. Um, when he got the one, I was like, "Okay, cool. At least it's gonna be a six-one." Uh, but it turned out to be a six-two, I believe. Um, but uh, kudos. Another big, you know, talking point as well is the fact that. Uh, Cinderace did not make an appearance in the semifinals or the finals of the Elite Battle League for, for Miami. Um, regardless, I still stand by the fact that Cinderace, just the thought of it being on the other team, just seeing it on the other team is enough to shift your game plan and all that. But at the same time, uh, kudos to not bringing it out. Um, but obviously, Foos made the big mistake of focusing his team completely around Cinderace. Matt, I think the his biggest weakness of the season was kind of letting his emotions get to him, and that really, really showed uh, in this match. Understandably so, because nothing was going his way. Um, I can't really blame him for getting as mad as he did, uh, because, geez, it really felt like nothing was going his way. Um, and it, not really in towards, towards the end when it kind of wasn't really, it didn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, Weavao came in to uh, clean up shop. Venusaur did really well in the middle of the match for, for Miami. Those two were the finals MVP. The championship MVP was Weavao. Um, Weavao walked away with six kills, one death. Very impressive across two matches. Um, kind of came out of nowhere because Weavao wasn't really being used in the regular season. But uh, overall with that match, I mean, I just, I was very impressed with Miami, very impressed. Uh, that was probably their best game, but not probably that was their best game of the season in my opinion um, Unfortunately, the Braviary couldn't quite continue their hot streak into the finals uh, and fell victim to them <laughs> to Miami's best game of the season uh, how, did, how did you feel about about the result? How did you feel about how how that match turned out? Um, so you guys know that this whole season I've been team Guanaco and to know that he won the championship for the first time in my life, I chose the right team. Let's freaking <laughs> go. Um, anywho, um, yeah, I, I just want to say after watching that match, I'm very um, glad that um, next season Guanaka is not in our division because I was I'm just yeah. really afraid of fighting him. Um, which, speaking of which, in case you guys don't know, the draft is currently going on as we're recording this. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> It's been a blast 
Um, you know, some, some <laughs> like, we, we all have things going on, so it's like a spread out draft, and like every time somebody's turn, and they, they take forever, it's just like, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Jack! Foose! I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like one of the biggest people. It's just like, come on, pick. I want to go. Because I was supposed to be first pick, and then Gunako took my pick. And then ironically, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in a class because Josh took forever to make his pick. And then I was Derek, Derek did his immediately, and I was still in class, so I couldn't even take out my phone. And like, I had five <laughs> people adding me, like, Infernal Man, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, wait, did you give your thoughts on the match? I. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, kind of. Uh, um, you, you, yeah, you, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you want, do you, do you, do you have anything else to say? Like, like, kind of cut you off. You, you, me you mentioned Cinderace, um, how he didn't even bring him out, like, in the last couple of weeks, and especially this one. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the one time that he didn't bring Cinderace out, he lost, right? Before, like, in the regular season. So. Um. Well, it did. It died. <laughs> so that didn't help. Oh. Um. <laughs> It's, it's it's just that, you know, that shows just how, you know, everybody was just like, oh, Gunaka's only this good because he's got ace, but, like, obviously he showed that he doesn't need ace to, to win a good match, and um, Matt didn't, like, he, he wasn't very lucky early in the season, but, like, towards the end of the season, he started getting a lot more wins, especially winning against both of the, the teams that were on top. Um, yep. So, you know, seeing this match, I was just like, you know, Guanaco, if, if it was like against any other team besides Crobats, um, I'd be like, yeah, guanaco has got a strong chance, but for this one, I really didn't know like what to expect because Matt was the one that defeated him in week week five, right? It was week five. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I was just like, I just went to this, like, I don't know what to expect from this, which is good because you don't want to have like one that's just like, oh, it's the championship match against, match against Guanaco and and the, and the Detroit Lux Rays, we know who's gonna win this one starting next. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, when Guanaco started, like, you know, basically sweeping Matt, I was just like, okay, yeah. let's see where this goes from here, because it looks like um, we have a winner here in Guanaco. And we did, but if if Matt had pull, pull, uh, turned that around, I wouldn't have been completely surprised, so. Wait. Judge you by the season, yeah. <laughs> Cameron, come into the camera view. <laughs> he just got back. Oh my gosh, Cameron in a weekly roundup question mark? We, what? We got Ty Fury and Cam. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Dub. I'm waving hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the, the weekly roundup, the last one for the season. For Elite Battle League. <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, uh, good job to both these gentlemen. <laughs> we we went most of the season expecting, you know, the top two teams to be in the finals to be Guanaco and Crobats, and um, Matt actually ended up making it past Crobats. So mm -hmm. that was that was a nice turnaround. I'm I'm really um, proud of Matt. I guess you could say proud if that's the right word to use. I'm very very excited for Matt for him not only making it into the final round but um, doing a good like giving us a good match as well. So. Yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah, uh, and like I've been doing for the last couple weeks, you haven't been here, unfortunately, but uh, kind of been giving little final words for the competitors who got knocked out, slash whose season are over, because I guess Gwenaco didn't really get knocked out. He won. Um, to Matt, like he just said, I mean, he much like Derek in, in a lot of ways doubted himself um, until he's, I, I'd say until the semifinals, because that's when he finally said, I'm going to like beat Crobats. I'm going to win uh and that's when he i feel like he really started to get very confident in himself which is fair like that's i mean with the streak he was on but uh yeah you were right he didn't have the best luck in the middle uh, in the beginning of the season but you absolutely turned it around towards the end uh and again if you would have won we would have called it rigged but you know it's okay um you uh you just you press i think everyone towards the end of the season you know you always called yourself not the best or you weren't good at battling you're really bad at battling but you proved that clearly you know a little at least a little something uh, towards the end there and you made it to the finals so i mean that's got to count for something and with the team you had it was very impressive uh not that the team was necessarily bad but you finally started to get the trick room going and all that good stuff and you really started to show your your battling 
abilities. Uh, so yeah, I think I speak for both of us when I say we're both pretty impressed with, uh, with the specials last few battles. Um, fortunately, the final didn't go your way, but it's okay. The fact that you made it to the final is impressive enough. Um, and we are, we like he said, we're proud of you, absolutely. Uh, and to the champion, the champion, congratulations. Congratulations. I mean, uh, I just recently did the interview with him, and I'm not going to spoil what he said or anything, but like, just, I could see it in his face after the match. He, he just kind of was in disbelief uh, for a second there. Uh, and he did say that it took a second to hit him. So um, I hope now it's getting to you. I hope now like you, you really feel it. You feel good about it. I'm sure you do. Uh, and what a season. Very impressive season. I think I, I mean, do you I, I think you agree? Because clearly you supported him every week because <laughs> man, that uh, that was just an incredible season. Like like we said, the fact that you didn't use Cinderace you proved us all wrong. Very impressive because there were two two like monumental wins. Uh, obviously, one of them was to win it all, uh, and one was to get to that point. So very impressive, and honestly, just high expectations for you next season. Uh, you better win it all. Um, we're gonna put that pressure on you now because Corvats can't put that on him because he didn't win it all. So we gotta put all that pressure on you now. Um, so I I'm very excited to see what you do next season. Uh, and that goes to all our competitors, of course. Season 2 is going to be a blast, considering Season 1 was already fantastic. Now we got more people coming in. Um, but I think overall, uh, this season was just, uh, I mean, from a spectator's point of view, it was very, very, very entertaining. I mean, it was every game just it was so intense, down to the wire. We had like four or five matches that went to timer. Um, so many chess matches, tactical matches um i i i really 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 enjoyed this season it made me very hyped for season two to be a part of season two uh were you feeling the same way yeah pretty much i'm are we allowed to talk about like how the season set up i mean i already mentioned divisions before. Uh, <laughs> yeah just don't mention like who's in it i guess yeah um i mean obviously you guys know point blank that Quinaco's not in ours because that's literally a joke that i made earlier but um, <laughs> you know, next season, you know, with the divisions and everything, I'm really excited to see how the matches turn out because we do have some very, um, very talented people that did well over the season, um, as part yep. of our division. So I'm really looking forward to, to battling out with my, my mom's FaceTiming right, me right now. So that's, that, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> I have to call her back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like he said uh just a fantastic first season uh big congratulations to the miami dragonites again uh and to everyone else you guys still played well regardless uh whether we doubted you at certain points or uh if you go back and watch the preseason roundup go go see everything we got wrong and i'm actually happy we got it all wrong because it means you know you guys really were like trying to prove us wrong and that's exactly what you should do um because our job is to trash talk <laughs> kind of um but yeah regardless i i can yeah i think he said it we said it proud of all you guys you thoroughly impressed all of us it's gonna be very interesting to play against you guys next season i'm very interested to see how you guys change if you guys change at all um because a lot of people have been talking about the new guys but obviously the the original six um are are probably gonna change in their own ways too so i'm very excited to play against you guys um it'll be an absolute honor uh, but yeah, that's that's it for our final weekly roundup of the season and and the final roundup for Landon too. Um, we're gonna be joined by uh, Timmy next season. That's the saddest um, part. <laughs> <laughs> Trash talking begins. I actually kind of tear myself up a bit. <laughs> um, Timmy's but yeah, this in. is. Timmy's gonna come in. He's like, I didn't watch any of last season, but hi guys. <laughs> Probably, uh, but yeah, this is Landon's final weekly roundup. Um, so, do you have any last words uh, for the roundup fans out there uh, who who are gonna who are gonna absolutely miss you? Because I know they will. Um, continue watching the EBL. I know that the the staple holding this lead together, the reason why you guys watch is because I do the roundups. But just because I'm not part of the roundups doesn't mean I'm not still part of the league. I will be a coach. 
Um, so, you know, the, the, the league won't fall apart with me changing positions, I promise <laughs> you. I, I know it might seem like a, a crisis, but um, I, I still will be the superhero of the EBL. Just... You guys should have seen the Discord. Everyone was panicking. Yeah. It was like crazy. It was really bad. Like the, the Discord um, server was actually on fire. Like you might not yeah, think that's yeah. possible, but like it was on fire. Like actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, next season, I guess I'll announce it now since it's already been said. Uh, we'll be joined by It's Really Timmy B. Uh, I'll still be one of the hosts. He'll be my co-host. It should still be on my channel, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm still doing it on my channel. Uh, or at least I've said that. So um different co-hosts fortunately unfortunately we lose landon but we do gain another great content creator in timmy b uh so look forward to that next season i will also be a coach just throwing it out there if you haven't already i mean i've already said it a few times in this video alone uh so <laughs> we're both gonna be coaches next season so look for uh us as well new competitors um and yeah best of luck to everyone in season two we'll catch you guys in the pre-season roundup for season two uh, that's gonna be very exciting. We need to finish our draft, so we gotta get going. And Landon has dinner. So, do you have any any final final words for the peeps? Um, yeah, I can't wait for my interview with Josh when, whenever that happens. And um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna go eat some foods and play my instrument on a football field again. Woo, woo. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys all are having a fantastic day. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, whatever. Uh, be sure to check out all the links in the description of all the coaches, uh, my links, Landon's links, of course. Uh, check all that good stuff out, subscribe, and follow wherever is necessary. Awesome. And yeah, we'll see. Wait. What? Go ahead. Um, since this is the last roundup and Cameron made an appearance, follow Mob Angel on Twitch. Follow Mob Angel on Twitch. M A U V E. <laughs> A-N-G-E-L on Twitch. Bam. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so check out all the links. Uh, hopefully you guys, again, have a fantastic day, and we will see you in the preseason roundup. Bye.